For video number two, we're going to start video number two for lesson 3-15 pretty much the same way we started video number two for lesson 3-14. First thing we're going to do is we are going to make a number line. Okay. Now, and we're just going to start with 4.0 right here. 4.0. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and it's not going to be 10, it's actually going to be 5.0. So we, on either side here, we have our whole number, and we have our whole number. Now each one, of the, this is 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, 4.4. 4 .4. The reason why I didn't write the 4 is that just because I, I'm not going to run out, I'm, I'm going to run out of room, and I can't can't write fine enough to do that. So here's what I'd like you to do. I want to just, let's just underline in, I'm just going to underline in blue our whole numbers. Now I want to, I'm going to get, let's put a couple of numbers on this, on this, um, on this number line. If I go right here, okay, this number is 4.5. That is the exact middle of our number line, okay? Now if I put if I give you the number 4.7, which is right here, is that on the left side or the right side of that number line? Well, hopefully you realize that this is on the right side. And anything of 5 and up is going to be the right side. Anything, anything 4.49 and below is going to be the left side. Now, we talked about this yesterday, and this was in the video yesterday, but the rule is the same, and that's the great thing about rounding. We don't have to change the rules, okay? All we have to do is we have to make sure that we know what the right place value. But if it's 0 through 4, we go to the floor. And it's, if it's 5 through 9, we climb, we climb the vine, which means we go up. 0 through 4, we're going to go to the lowest number. To, we're just going to drop it and go to what it was. 5 through 9, we're going to climb up. Okay. Now, let's look, in, let's look in an example here. If I have 4.7, what am I going to do? What's 4.7 rounded to the nearest whole number? Well, it's going to fall into here, so it's going to be rounded to 5. So we're going to round 4.7 to the nearest whole number to 5. Just like if we had 4.3, that's going to fall into the 0 to 4, go to the floor, that's going to go the nearest whole number when we round, that's going to go to 4. Remember, 0.5 or the 5 is the dividing line. Anything, fi point, anything 5 and greater, we're going, to go, we're going to go up. Anything just a little under 5 and down, we will go down. So let's look at one more example then. Let's draw another number line here. Okay. And what we're dealing with here is, I'm just going to draw 1.6, okay? And on this side, I'm going to draw 1.7. Now, the reason why I did 1.6 and 1.7 is now we're going to be dealing with one hundredths. We're going to deal with hundredths. Here we were dealing with tenths. Now we're going to deal with hundredths. And what I want you to do is just every two, we're just going to break, break this up because this is going to be point, point 0.61, point 0.62, point 0.63, point 0.64, 5, 0.66, six, six, point 0.67, point 0.68, point 0.69. Now, again, after this comes point 0.7. And all of these are 1.6. Well, we just, I didn't ha don't have the room to write all that. And I don't have enough room to skip three lines in between here. Now, if I give you, when I give you, when I give you the number 1.68, how, 
how are we going to round 1.68 to the nearest tenth? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we can look at this, and we know this is our this is kind of our balance point. We know that 8.68 is closer to 1.7 than it is, so we should go up. But in case we forget the process, we look at if we're rounding to the nearest tenth, we look at our tenth and we look to our neighbor, and if our neighbor is a five, six, seven, eight, or nine, we climb the vine, and then 1.6 becomes 1.7. Now, if it's on the other side of that, let's say it's 1.62. Again, we look at our we look at our place value, we look at our neighbor to the right, and say, oh, 1.6. And 2 is going to tell us to go to the floor, so all we have to do is we go to the floor, and the floor in this case is 1.6. So this is going to go to 1.6.